Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you about uh, capos. Just real quick, um, in layman's terms, uh, capos help you um, basically take this, this is called the nut, and move it up. So this is always your point of reference without a capo. Whenever you put a capo on, now that's going to be your point of reference, whichever fret that you put it on. Um, and so like if I'm playing a song in G, so you see my G here. Okay, but that's a little bit too low for me. And so I'm in a capo fret two. And see that G note right here is gonna move up three frets from that capo, just like my G figure. It's three frets from the nut right here, now it's three frets from the capo, and now that's going to be an A. Okay, and if you're not, um, if you don't have a lot of music theory knowledge, uh, something you can try this on is, is just singing. Um, and so does it, does it make your voice go higher, lower, something like that? Um, so another thing to take into consideration is um, how how hard it makes you um, play play the chords you're trying to play, or even a even a lead line. Take a Crowder's "Everything Glorious" for example. Okay, say I want to. That's in C, so I want to move that to A. Actually, it's going to be the insane, it's going to be the, actually the same key. It's in the st still in, in the key of C, but I'm going to play A chord figures. Um, okay, so that's not very easy to do. Um, why don't we scoot that up again, and we'll play it in a G figure. Okay, so not perfect, but um, but that's a lot easier. Um, and again, stayed in the same key. Uh, check it with your vocal range if, you, if you're not sure about the theory. Um, but I stayed in the same key. I'm just changing the way that I'm playing the chords. Um, and that's that's another thing that the capo is good for. I can play in the key of E. I'm going to stay in the key of E, but I'm going to play D chord figures. Okay, I'm going to stay in the key of E again, play C chord figures. Exact same chords, just different ways to play them. So that is what the capo is good for, um, changing keys on the fly. And um, one thing you always got to remember is make sure you put it in the right spot. Because if you've got a, a bass player playing an A and you put your capo just on the wrong fret, he's playing and you're playing, which never sounds good together. So... Um, yeah, this is called a Kaiser capo. There's also um, adjustable strength capos, which um, are good for um, adjusting the tension on the strings. If you put a lot of tension on it, it's gonna it's gonna make the uh, the strings go a higher pitch. Um, but uh, really, uh, adjustable strength, adju adjustable tension capos rather are good for. Um, for if you have multiple um, guitars that have different size necks. Um, so yeah, um, there's a little tidbit on capo. Feel free to email in at, uh, with any questions at tyler at fqworship.com and have a great day. I've got